Why you two chose homeschooling versus homeschooling? Homeschooling to me just seems more curriculum based. And, you know, you're going to sit down at the table and do all of your subjects. And we found that it just made more sense to allow the kids to learn through play and reading books to them and doing recipes, you know, learn fractions and, you know, that type of thinking. And I don't know that we ever sat down and did a comparison like, oh, this is homeschooling, this is unschooling, and this is what we really want to do. It was just so natural. It, it just wasn't a super conscious decision. It was very gradual. Did you start with homeschooling and then moved into homeschool? Yeah, I guess we kind of did because even though my son was really young, we still bought like, we would just get like those fun little workbooks that you can get at the store. We never bought any full-on curriculum. We would get the fun little workbooks that had some math problems or counting, the money workbooks, just little things that are very, very preschool type of stuff because he was so young. So I guess that was really the only thing that would be considered typical homeschooling that we ever did. And then, like I said, when he was about five, he asked to uh, learn to read, like officially learn to read, even though he had been sort of reading and he'd known his ABC since he was like one. So we got this lesson book and it was like a hundred lessons to learn to read. And we got to like about halfway and he was just like, I'm bored. I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. And then he just learned to read on his own. And all, all three of our kids learned to read that way. So it was never a real huge concern. This is a dynamic that happens very often among radical old schoolers. Kids just learn to read by themselves. And most of the mm -hmm. time, the homeschoolers or the teachers are amazed when a kid just appears to be reading out of the blue. Yeah. And um, But it is something so common among the homeschooling families. Have you seen this oh, yeah. often? Yes. I feel like it's very common. And I think it's also a misconception that they will naturally read younger. We know a lot of unschoolers who didn't really worry about it, and they shouldn't. And their kids were 11 or 12 and still weren't really reading. And they just knew they trusted the process. And their kids did eventually read when they wanted to, when there was something in front of them that was valuable enough to them to know, and there was nobody else around to read it to them. So, you know, it's a very, a very natural process to learn to read that way. Would you agree that the math process or the mathematical brain is developed something around the same way? Math learns not necessarily by filling uh, books. I think it can be. I think very basic math can be. And of course, if a child is interested later on in learning more complicated math, calculus and algebra and geometry and those types of things, then they can do that more comfortably. I think that there is a lot of fear around math that starts very young. You know, math can be very intimidating. And if you take that away, that intimidation and that, you know, having to learn all of your times tables, you know, it's like this forced learning creates a lot of fear and a lot of, oh, I'm not good at math. But I think a lot of that is because it is forced upon them when they're not really interested or too young, maybe even. And so there's always time to learn something. Correct. What was your personal approach uh, to math? How do you manage mathematics? In your I don't. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, don't. So always say people say, oh, what's your math curriculum? Because that seemed to be the thing that people were like, oh, yeah, that's okay, hey, whatever. But math is so important. And I'd be like, well, we play with Legos. <laughs> There's all the little dots on the Legos and they, you know, they have to follow the directions. And so they learned like that, oh, this one that has two this way and three this, this way, that's six. And color sorting and Legos. That was like, I, I used to joke all the time that Legos were our curriculum. That was it. Legos. You learn everything you need to know. <laughs> exactly. Are you listening? Damn.